Hello and welcome back to another BP Plays video. Here we have episode 3 of our Ipswich Town Football Club Manager Career Mode. So if you remember the last episode we got up to the uh, second round of the Carabao Cup. Uh, our game is against Derby. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous episode, don't forget to uh, go back and watch it. Uh, so plan to get a few games in today so obviously we've got Derby and the Carabao Cup we then got Shrewsbury Town there skip across we then have Coventry in the Leeson.com trophy uh, Rochdale Doncaster who we played in the first round of the Carabao Cup again if you haven't seen the previous episode I won't ruin the score for you go back and watch it uh, then we've got MK Dons Gillingham and Tranmere Rovers. I'm going to try and get through all of them games this episode. So without further ado, let's jump straight into our first game. Here we have kickoff: Ipswich versus Derby in the Carwell Cup second round. Dan Dredge and Nolan. Nolan. Still Nolan. Nolan shoots. Shoots. Oh, poor. Hughes. Nolan, Danda, Norwood, Norwood, still shoots, still manages to get it, back to Hughes, into Danda, back to Hughes, into Keane, gives the ball away, he just can't do nothing there, they threw on goal, ball into the middle, defended, not very well out though, they get it, goal to Derby County, early goal to Derby County, disappointment there, a little bit of a mix up with the clearance and the second oh, ball away just could not get it out there oh that's a disappointing goal that disappointing goal to concede very very unhappy with that They're running down the wing again Derby County coming on that right hand side again the players just stop what's going on easy there by Herrera Gives the ball away though. Down the line. Is the ball going to go into the box? The ball goes into the box. Edge of the box shoots. Big save. Ball over the top of the defence. Can he get there? He manages to keep it on. Herrera down this left hand side. Takes it past one. Knocks it into the middle. Down the shoots. Poor again. Poor again. They're coming down this right hand side again. They're having so much luck down here. We just can't Impressive. do nothing. Possession. Passing's good. Possibly Back dangerous. down. Ball goes into the box. The Keeper punches it. Nervy the save there. From the keeper. Short corner. Ball goes into the box. Middle. Back outside. Back inside. Back outside. Really? Shake it all about. The Ball goes edge of the box. Tackle passing. there. Keeper comes out and collects. Here they come again. Down that right into the middle all that space into the middle Good Nolan going across the try and closing side. down forces him backwards they go inside Here's Rooney. one more defended there but it's not quite they cleared the he shoots save well. again from Holy big mistake well. there They've got it. Here they come down this left hand side this time. Oh, time to get Onto the, the edge. Now. Into the box. Crossing. Defend, no cross. Defended them. No Just to clear this now. this time. Not missing about. Herrera, Herrera loses the ball. Lazy in possession. They're coming down this this right hand side again. Swire ball into the, the box. box. Chambers is there. Chambers manages to clear it. Well to Hughes. Clear Little knock inside to Kian. Back to Hughes. Back to Kian. Norwood. Inside to Norwood. Norwood goes inside to Hughes. Hughes on the outside, Very switching the work. sides now onto the, the right. Still behind. Here they come. Away, Ball into the box. Nolan shoots. Nolan. Oh, he's hit Can't it quite get it on target. Dan to Keane. Keane, sorry. I'm playing too much on my team. Herrera cuts back. Ball into the middle. Doesn't quite get the it there. Dan does there to clear out. That. Nolan. Out onto the right. Here. Nearly gives it away there to Danda. Danda shoots. Just oh, wide. This is so right, much better so here from Ipswich. Need to be more clinical when it comes to the finishing, though. Ipswich clear up. Easy there. Norwood. 
Goes around the defender. Still Norwood. Norwood shoots from the tight angle. Forces a save from the keeper. Corner ball to Ipswich. Ipswich has just been so much better this last 10, 15 minutes. Ball into the box. Keen. Well, oh dear, oh dear. He was going for more of a conversion than a goal there. So it's a Nolan. Nolan runs with it. He's still travelling. Still travelling. Inside to Norwood. Norwood. Norwood shoots. Scores. Worked in that half time whistle. Norwood scores. Levels are up for Ipswich. Ipswich won. Derby won. Surely that's got to be the final kick of the game. And there it is. Half time. Better second half. Uh, better end of the half performance there from Ipswich last 10-15 minutes it was all them they've got Derby County on the ropes let's get back into the second half Derby with the kickoff there then Ipswich need a good second half performance hopefully they can carry it on over Derby comes straight in for the attack well defended there Derby County on the cap coming through the middle this time Forcing them way back, Ipswich will good defending. Ball over the top though. Sliding tackle into the box. Goal! Derby County. Early on in the second half. He's cut it out. He might have put his team Ball through. Shoots. Big save. That's a better save from him. They can't get the ball out of the minute though. Derby come back again. Rooney, Rooney little man. ball Steve inside, through. ball through, well, that, that makes it 3-1 sure to Derby there. County, oh dear, poor defending there, Derby coming in again, slow here. tackle, not really going anywhere though, ball goes into the box, header, wide, Dander's coming off and Curtis Jones is coming on, probably should have made a sub earlier on in the game, but to be honest, I didn't even think about it, give the ball away, they just can't get it out, Derby attack, Derby on the attack are ruthless, shoots and scores, 4-1 to Derby County, no more getting back into this, I've been very very poor, very stern words, will be having with these players at, at the full-time whistle some players are going to be dropped here as we see two minutes of valid time Derby County just trying to see it out now that's it that's full-time shock upset there Derby County 4 Ipswich Town 1 poor performance really. from us very poor day at the office for these guys so we're back here in the squad selection after that poor poor performance that full on loss to Derby County going to make some changes now Hughes had a bad game so unfortunately you're going to lose your place and Chirave is going to come on also Nolan had a bad game so Jones is going to come on there I think I'm going to start put Jackson back up top for Norwood who he just couldn't put a pass together um and I'm going to give Norris a shout in goal for Holy. So here we are, the next game of the episode. We have Ipswich versus Shrewsbury in the EFL League One. As you've just seen, I've brought Jones, Chiavea and Jackson on. And also Norris in goal there for Hughes, Norwood and Holy. Or oh, also Nolan, sorry. Let's see if we can get a better performance than that last game. And the losing streak continues there. Nightmare for Ipswich here. What's going on? Jones got a goal in the first minute. I'm very happy with that. I'm glad I brought him on to score goals. But unfortunately, we just couldn't make any of that count. Because they scored in the fifth. And then they wrapped it up in the 51st minute. Poor, poor again. We need to end this losing streak. Before it makes our season very, very bad. So after a little bit of thinking after that last game, I've decided that I'm going to bring in a striker. Now I've got two players here that I've liked the looks of. Marcus Barnes from Southampton and Aaron Connolly from Brighton Hope Albion. Um, unfortunately, I don't know anything about these two players um, because I haven't had time to scout them because it is transfer deadline day. Uh, I'm going to have a, have a look to see if I can bring them in either on loan or buy them. Uh, so we'll see 
how that ends up in just a moment. I'll give you an update in just a minute, guys. So we're back, and I managed to bring in Marcus Barnes. Uh, I signed him for 1.5 million, and he's on a weekly wage of 4,300. And um, I'm happy that we've got a striker in there. We need a player like him to sit up top for us. Hopefully, do us the world of wonders. As you can see, as I said, it's transfer deadline day. See if we can skip through this and see if we if we get any offers in. I'm not sure if if we will at all. Um, we'll have a little skip through. Just see what happens here as the clock runs down with an hour left no emails come through until just now that spoke too soon three emails come through let's have a look and check out see what they are so we've got a training injury so unfortunately Donna Sian suffered a torn hamstring the initial assessment for our medical department is that he will be up to six weeks out well that's bad news that just to let us know the transfer deadline day has ended and total amount spent across all the leagues is seven hundred twenty-six million nine hundred forty thousand. Also, a transfer offer for Nolan. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late for that. Um, I'm going to reject that offer because Nolan does play a role in our squad. So we have a training injury that we're going to have to go in and have a look at. Unfortunately, we're going to have to drop him out. Then he's had quite a good start to the season oh, I should have brought in a right back I don't think I did did I that's bad I have to, might have to put Edwards in there then and right mid there I think that's what we're going to have to do and then I think Barnes is going to come straight into our start starting lineup and I'm going to get him to replace Scoose there so I had a little play about with the training again. I've done that off camera. I don't want to bore you guys with the training again. But we brought Barnes in, Barnes in for a training session. He all got an A, which is brilliant there. Lancaster keeps his place with a C. Jones also keeps his place with a D. Norris keeps his with a B. And Wolfenden also with a B. So let's get into this next match now against Coventry in the Leeson.com trophy. For some reason, our emails just popped up after a no button press there. Um, a bit strange, that one. Oh, now we get an email come up. So we receive a transfer offer from Elborg BK for, for Hughes for a fee of 1,050,000. It's a big offer, that. It's a big offer. Unfortunately, here's part of my plans at this precise moment in time so unfortunately I'm going to reject that go ahead and delete that email I'm going to go into this sim this game as you can see uh, Barnes is on the bench there hopefully we get a big game we need a big game and hopefully this losing streak does not continue let's have a look what happens next so it continues going out on penalties that's harsh that is very very harsh that so Jobber Leo scored in the 15th minute for them. Wolferden levels it up in the 38th. Chiaver gets sent off in the 35th minute. Going out on penalties, that's a hush. Very, very harsh that. The losing streak continues. The upcoming game is crucial into our season. I feel, I feel great and I think I'll do a much better job if you pick me over Norris for this match. I'll tell you what. Let's put you back in. Let's put you back in. So what we'll do is we'll just drop Norris for this game. Holy, you better perform. Save the changes to that team sheet. You better perform. This win streak, sorry, this lose streak cannot go on for much longer. We're 11th in the table at the minute. We need a better performance. So as you can see, Chiaver got sent off in that last game. So Hughes has come in. To replace him with a bit of luck, we get a better result. Come on, Ipswich, we can do this. And the winning ways have returned. Ipswich with a goal, one goal to nil. Herrera scores there for us. Oh, I'm so relieved. Like, relief has just 
gone from my bolly there. I'm happy with that 1-0 win. We needed that. That win, that lose streak was terrible. Three games on the bounce. Starting us off again with a win. Hopefully this form can continue into the next game. So Thomas Holy has just come in and said, Great win, boss. I told you that selecting me would spur us onto victory. Well, I expect more of that. You've retained your position in the squad for the next game. So I expect this performance week by week. You need to be able to constantly deliver at this level if you want to make it a regular in the squad. So far, so good for him. Let's jump into the training. We'll do this one on camera this time. Do a little, little bit of training. So Barnes got a C, Lancaster got an A, Jones got a B, and he also levels up an overall rating. Norris got a C, and Wolfenden got a C as well. Very good result that from some of them players there. One nil win. I'm very still still very very happy with that. As you can see, we now have Doncaster Rovers in here. Hopefully, hopefully. We can continue this winning, I say winning streak, we've got a one, one win. Let's see if we can continue with it. We can continue the winning streak, Ipswich 2, Doncaster 1, Keanu Hughes got the goals for us, Sadlia got the goal for them, and James got two yellow cards for them with a sending off there. Two wins on the bounce now, let's keep this up. No rest for the wicked there, after that great performance, jump straight into a training session. As we see, Barnes got an A, Lancaster with a C, Jones with a B, as well as Norris with a B. Wolfenden got an A, going up an overall rating again, so he is now 68 rated. Very, very happy with that performance. That's moved us up into 5th place. 5th place from 11th. I'm just happy that we managed to get 2 wins on the bounce now. We've got MK Dons this game. This is a must win again. Crucial game in the season. No changes from the last two previous two games. Tia Vare still misses out after that red card two games ago. Hopefully we continue. Let's go. The streak is alive. That's three. Nolan Jackson and Danda. You beauty. Come on. Big, big win there from the lads. Very happy with that performance. Where's that put us up? That moves us up into fourth place. So we've got Gillingham in our next game. Let's skip through to that. Unless anything pops up in the meantime. Can we continue this winning streak? So we've got an email come through. Player chat there. From uh, Flynn Downs. I've been in pretty for good form lately. And I'm feeling good. So I hope you're not going to bench me for the game against Gillingham. Unfortunately, there is bigger games ahead. And I need you focusing on the fitness until then. I can't see me changing this this team until we get a loss or a bad result there. Again, like I said just a second ago, Gillingham now in the league. Another must win for us. Can we make it a four? Let's have a look. That's four. Keane with two goals there. Ipswich two. Gillingham nil. Four on the bounce now. After them three games of losing, four wins. I think now outweighs that. Brilliant performance and a brilliant response for the lads. Still in fourth place. Again, we'll get another training session in there. Keep this momentum going. Barnes goes up a level. He gets an A. Lancaster gets a C. Jones gets an A. Norris with a B. And we'll fend them with a D as well. I'm just over the moon with them performances. Four wins on the bounce. Tranmere Rovers coming up next. Can we make it five? I hope we can. Let's have a look. I'm not changing this team. I've kept it the same. Let's see what happens now. 4-1 winners. Get in there. Air switch 4. Tranmere 1. Dunder. Jackson of 2. And Keane with the goals. They missed a penalty in the 38th minute. Not sure that would have done anything though. So after that big performance in that last game. We've had a job offer from Canada. Unfortunately, again, I'm going to reject. I want to keep this momentum going. I can't take have my focus going anywhere else. Uh, Don has seen to return from his injury, and he can rejoin the first team training sessions. I was going to say let's do a training session, but unfortunately, it is match day. Um, we won't be playing this match 
much in this episode so we'll be playing a way to Fleetwood in the next episode so just quickly before we leave here let's have a quick look at the standings and see where that leaves us that leaves us second place with 23 points Rotherham in first with 27 points shaky start to this episode finished it on a high I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to ding that bell. I've been BP Plays and I'll see you later.